Today's throwback, we're having a look at the NECA Toys Freddy vs. Jason, Jason Mask, and Freddy Glove replica. Uh, this was a throwback that Spotlight do for a very, very long time, as I did this video a long time ago, and lighting and everything else just didn't work for this video. So I wanted to redo it, just give it a new polished look, because it is one of my favorite pieces in my collection. Uh, I do have to apologize, though, because just the reflection of this, because the front of it is a plastic layer that goes over top of the, the, uh, the actual replica. So what I'll do... I didn't actually have it on an angle just because you'd be looking at me and everything else. So I'm going to slide the plastic off and then we'll kind of just be able to do a better look at, at it because as it stands right now, because it's just reflective, it's reflecting all the light, it's reflecting everything. So this slides off just like that. I'll show you how it kind of goes together in a, in a second and we'll just kind of put that, we'll just put that to the side. Okay, so we'll spin it around to the front. And there is the, again, Freddy vs. Jason replica mask and glove. It's a phenomenal looking piece. Unfortunately, very expensive now if you can get your hands on it. Uh, I've seen these go for as much as, well, $300, $400. I've seen these for on eBay. But essentially what it is, is an advertisement for the promotional artwork, which sadly didn't get used a lot when it came to the Freddy vs. Jason. In fact, the artwork that you usually saw was either the silhouette back side of Jason and then showing Freddy from the front, or they would switch that image where you had Freddy's stance and then you could see Jason through his legs, or they would have like the, the two look face to face. But this, this promotional artwork got used very, very sparingly, almost to the point that I'm disappointed that they didn't advertise it better with this glove. Essentially what it is, let's just spin this to the side so you can get a better look at it. We'll bring the camera in as well. Uh, basically what it is, is it's the glove holding the Jason mask in its, in its grasp, so to speak. And the two, two of the blades are actually going through the eye areas of the mask itself. Again, it's a beautiful piece. I just kind of wish that New Line had opted to advertise the movie more so as this. Like, even the DVD cover of Freddy vs. Jason doesn't have this. It doesn't. It just has Freddy and Jason on the front. This, I think, just makes it look so much cooler. At the very bottom of the shadow box, there is a Freddy vs. Jason placard. Uh, it says Jason's mask and Freddy's glove with a trademark down below. Jason's mask is backed against almost like a red velvet uh, exterior or interior. Um, it makes the mask stand out, and I'm glad they went that route as opposed to giving it black. Black certainly would have made the mask stand out, but I think it just would have been simply too dark, especially if you're having it with the glass enclosure on the front. The red stands out, I think, a little bit better, if you ask me. NECA put a lot of care into the mask itself, giving a much darker, almost brownish color to almost how he appears in the movie, which I guess could have been just a little on the lighter side, but it doesn't bother me all that much. I love all the little scratches that they've put into it. Uh, this mask, as far as I know, can be, can be worn. Um, it could be removed out, but again, why would you want to? There's just so much involved taking the mask out. Uh, in fact, if you spin the case around here, there are a couple of little uh, ties as well as screws, again, that you could take everything off, but not sure really why you would want to, to be honest. It's such a beautiful looking piece that I wouldn't ruin it by taking the mask out. There are so many other replica masks on the market, both between uh, artists that are having their own masks out there, and NECA's also released their own Jason masks. So getting a mask like this completely out for me, I would just leave it as is. The chevrons are painted in almost a darker cranberry color. Uh, lots of scratches around the eye area of Jason. The, uh, the actual blades of Freddy's glove are fairly secure, although unfortunately, like one of my blades, the blades look like they're, I don't know if there's a split or a crack that's caused in the blades themselves. I don't know why it's causing that but two of the blades have these little slots. Let me see if I can show you a better look at it. Spot's been very careful with this replica itself, but you can see there's like a little line, a little, a little gash almost in the blade itself. 
I don't know if they've deliberately put that in there so that there's a little bit of give to the blades, but it's not on it's not on this one, and it's not on this one. It's only on these two right here. I can't even tell you whether it's stress marks or what it is that's causing it, but I hope it's not going to give me problems over time. The Freddy glove, let me see if I can actually tip that up there. The Freddy glove's painted fairly good, not not too too bad. I mean, it gets, it gets a little more basic in paint as it gets to the back areas of the glove itself. There's a little strapping that's kind of keeping everything together. Would not remove that, so I've left I've left that in there, but I guess you could take it off. I wouldn't advise it. I would just leave it as is. Um, the paint, again, on the glove is very simplified, if that's the best word I can describe. It's very, very simplified, that light, almost light yellowish caramel color. I wish they had done a little bit more to put paint in there, but truthfully, you're really not seeing it all that much when you see it from the front. When it comes to his displaying options, what you can do is spin it around. Now, I've had this displayed, let me just bring the camera up there. I've had this displayed just simply on a shelf, but they do give you little support uh, clips at the top there that you could mount it to like nails if you mounted it to the wall. I don't know though, I, I feel like it's not secure enough. It may be it's just a little on the heavier side. I know granted you could put shelving and stuff on your walls and it's, you know, the, the walls can hold it. But I feel more secure, I think, putting it just simply on a shelf. You can perfectly opt to have it mounted on these screws. I just kind of more in favor of having it sitting on a shelf instead. And then how we start the beginning of this review, again, that sheet of plastic, very clear, almost acrylic plastic, can slide in the front for displaying the piece. It keeps also helps keep all the dust out. It's unfortunately really bad for fingerprints. I had to kind of wipe it down before this review, but it finishes everything off nicely. I mean, leaving the, the plastic off, you can opt to do that, but unfortunately you're gonna be probably spending a lot of time dusting the mask and the blades themselves, I worry over time. I even worry like looking at these now, the fragileness of some of those blades but per personally speaking, I would say keep the glass or keep the plastic on the front, just preventing a lot of the dust and stuff from getting inside. From a horror fan myself, this is one of my favorite pieces in my collection. Uh, I was lucky enough with a lot of these as NECA doesn't really re-release a lot of their stuff. I was lucky enough that I got this when it first came out. So I can't, I can't honestly tell you how much I paid for it. I feel like it was about $100, it could have been maybe just a little bit more for it, but certainly the prices of this have skyrocketed since. You're expected probably to pay for this guy now, probably about three to $400 in aftermarket. Would love to see NECA reapproach this, re-release this if it was at all possible. But again, I just feel like when NECA releases one thing, they don't tend to go back and re-release it again. And instead they release something completely different. It's a beautiful display. It's a beautiful way to have the movie promoted. Just don't know why they didn't promote it with this design as opposed to the Freddy vs. Jason. If they had simply put this on the front of the DVD cover, I think it really could have enhanced the promotional artwork for the movie itself. Think what you will of Freddy vs. Jason, whether you were a big fan of it or not. This is an absolutely stunning collectible if you can add it to your collection. Today's throwback, we were having a look at the Freddy vs. Jason, Jason Mask, and Freddy's Glove replica display. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more throwbacks, more collectible spots, and so many more videos heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.